On this episode of Paint Society, you're going to learn how to restore and refinish the paint on your vehicle while on a budget. You're going to learn the different tips and tricks along the way of how to spray sealer and what are the benefits of spraying sealer while saving so much money on your base coat. Then we'll take you through the different pressures, tips, techniques, and tricks when it comes to restoring a vehicle's paint. Well, you're going to want to hold tight because this one's going to be a good one. What's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Paint Society, the channel where the learning doesn't stop when the video ends. Now, today's episode, we're gonna be painting a red Honda Civic, and I'm gonna take you through some of the steps of the benefits of sealer and well laying down that base. Now, the short story with this vehicle is that the roof was totally burnt, the trunk was totally burnt, meaning there was no clear left. So what we did is I sanded it all back down and we reprimed it. And now the quarter panels, well, they were burnt on the edges as well. And well, for blending purposes, since we're gonna paint that roof and we're gonna paint the trunk, we're gonna blend our paint out onto the quarter panel just to make sure it looks good. Now, this is a car that is being flipped and well, the owner just wants a quick repair to make it look good. So we didn't go too crazy, didn't remove the windows, but we do have some good trim tape that we were able to get underneath it. And well, everything else is removed so we can wrap that paint around those edges. Now, as of lately, I have been using paper and plastic. Now, I used to preach plastic, plastic only, but paper does have its benefits here and there, especially when you're pulling the plastic over the car. It doesn't stick to the back mask tape, which is really nice. So basically what we have here is the roof is in primer. The trunk is in primer. Now we did have a little bit of burnt paint and we did have a little bit of paint here that we needed to feather out. You might ask, well, there's no primer. We're gonna be using a sealer. It's a little trick that you can do when you have something that's feathered out with around 320 grit. Coming along to this side, we'll be blending our color into this area as well. Now the first thing we need to do is sealer. I'm gonna show you what sealer we're gonna be using. Now the sealer we're gonna be using is a color build sealer. This particular brand can be used as a sealer or a primer, depending on how it's mixed in the technical data sheets. Now the reason why I love color build is because it comes in red. And I'm gonna be very, very honest with you. Today is Saturday and I don't have enough paint to paint this car. And we know that red is very, very, very translucent. I mean, this is only 16 ounces up to here. And if we were just put this paint right over that primer, we would only get about maybe one or two coats done and we would not be able to finish this car today. So I'm hoping this is enough, but because we're gonna be using that red sealer once again, we're gonna be able to put this over those areas that are feathered out because it is a primer essentially that is not sanded, right? So when it mix it differently with a different additives, it lays on smoother and you can put your paint right over it. You don't need to sand it. So let me mix that up and we'll show you how we put the sealer down on the vehicle. So basically, if we wanted to use this as a thicker primer, we would use our base red color build. Then we would mix it up with these two additives. Now, since we don't wanna do that, we're gonna be mixing it with sealer. This is three to one to one. So we'll use our sealer additive and then we'll use our reducer to help it flow out. And this is exactly what it says in the technical data sheets, pretty much their directions for mixing the paint. And this does mix up three to one to one. So we'll be finding the three to one to one mixing ratio and we're gonna use the most amount that we can. So we'll bring it up to four for the uh, color build and then the next one will be our sealer hardener and the next one will be our reducer. Now we'll get it all poured in. This is the PPS cup. These are the 13.5 ounce cups. And you can see we're making our way to that first four on the three to one to one. And we'll stop right there. Next up is our sealer hardener, always using slow. Slow is generally gonna be always faster because you're not gonna have to worry about you know laying down rough, you don't have to sand it. So we went down to the next one and then we have our color build uh, reducer and we put these in, in these little bottles, just, just makes it easier. Now we'll go up to that last four right there and that will be good to go. We're ready to pop this on the car. And a couple of areas, there was some bare metal right in there. So we'll use a aerosol uh, etching primer and we're just gonna dust it on. And that's generally just gonna protect the metal so it doesn't rust, all right? A little in here too. 
Now, we can put the sealer right over there. We have just a little bit exposed metal right in there. And just a little bit right in there. And that will do it. We'll allow that to flash. So we're gonna be popping on our sealer on the roof here. And what happens with our sealer is it's gonna give us a little bit of a dry edge here. And we're gonna use a fade out spray. And that fade out spray is gonna make everything nice and smooth. So that when we go to put our red base coat on it, we don't have to worry about it being rough. Same thing over here. We'll use our spade out spray over in this area. And for sealer, we're gonna be using what I wanna suggest for their primer sealer. It's a W400 uh, LVWBX with a 1.4. I'll tell you something, your sealer gun's very important because if it lays it down smooth, your base and clear is gonna follow. We'll spray this around 23 PSI. Now this is that fade out spray. We're gonna use it just here where the edge of the sealer is. That's gonna help leave a smooth transition. Same thing on this side. And again, with the fade out spray, you wanna do this right away. You don't wanna wait until you know the sealer has been flashing because that wet edge is drying. And what we're trying to do is get that wet edge to smooth out into the rest of the panel. So don't wait on this. See how the uh, sealer is still shiny, right? Over here, same thing. Now we're allowing it a good 15 to 20 minutes to flash off. You know, flash off means when it goes completely dull, the solvents have released from the paint and allowing it and leaving it to look something just like this. Now, going over to the trunk, we have the same type of finish. Now it might look a little touch spotty here and there. Don't worry about it. This is a solid color. Now you can see how sealer really helps you. A lot of you might not have Red sealer, no problem. Well, not to worry. Now, if you don't have red for your particular car or any of those solid colors, a lot of the paint brands actually will make something called a value shake, because most paint brands will just have black and white, and they'll mix together to make different variants of the color. Now, that gray shade is gonna help that color cover much faster rather than just putting it right over the primer. Now, here's where that solid color bill can get you into trouble. Let's say we're painting the rear bumper for this car. It's like a brand new bumper and we seal it. Well, we have to make sure we put enough coats of base on there to get the true color because visually looking at it, if we put one coat on, it's gonna all be red, but it doesn't have the true color. So I've been burned before with that by painting a part off the car. And well, really just to find out, it needed a couple more coats to get the true color to match the blended panels on the car. Since on this car, everything's being blended, we can visually see how the color contrasts to the paint that we're blending into. It's allowed to flash off. We're gonna load up our base coat gun and we'll start spraying some base. Now for base, since I don't have a lot of paint left, this gun really saves on paint. It operates at a low pressure around 15 PSI. We're using the B plus air cap. we we'll have a 1.3 in here. And when we go to paint this car, we don't need any blending additive, especially on a solid color. We're just gonna allow the paint to fall exactly where it falls. And first I'm gonna cover up these areas to make sure that we have enough paint on our sealer areas. And then the second and third coat will blend it out a little bit further.
let's check out that first coat. Now it is kind of tough painting the roof, right, and the side. So I did get myself some benches to, you know, stand on and make it a lot easier. Come close to these uh, quarter panels. They don't want to rub them. So the paint is flashing off. You see how good the coverage is, right, off the bat, first coat. This is only gonna need one more coat. Now you don't need to spray out the fade out spray on the edges. You don't do that. This, the uh, base coat has a solvent in it that it needs to smooth out. You only need that fade out spray, right, when you're doing uh, sealer and your clear coat, uh, if you need a new melt in or something like that. So we're gonna allow this to flash off another 10 to 15 minutes, then we'll hit up the second coat. You just noticed how I turned the lights off. I used the Astro Sun Gun to check for coverage. You don't need the expensive 3M one that's like 300 bucks. This is like 60 bucks. It does the same thing. And I noticed that I had a little bit of weak coverage right here around the moon roof. So I just applied another coat and I rechecked it and now it's good to go. So we can see our base looks phenomenal. It's only blended in areas that are connected. So where the door meets the quarter panel, that's just gonna be clear on clear on both sides. And well, where the paint comes off the roof, we know it's gonna match because the top of our pillar area is all blended as well. This again is just clear on clear. And for clear coat, I'm gonna be using the Walcom HTE Clear 1.2. is a new favorite of mine for spraying clear, getting a lot better results. So let's mix that clear up and let's start spraying.
All right, well, it's all painted, and I've got to tell you, it's not easy painting the roof and the quarter panels at the same time. And you know, to get that reach across the roof and maintain your self-awareness with that air hose and making sure it doesn't go into the side of the quarter panel isn't the easiest thing, but we got it done and I'm really, really happy. You know, this was a quick job. We came in the night before, it got sanded down, it got primed, and I came in in the morning around 8 a.m. and by 12 um, noon, it was ready to spray and we're here just a few hours later ready to unmask it and assemble it in the morning and that's just what we're gonna do so if you guys want to check out the merch store check out the different apparel we got stickers decals all that type of thing head over to paintsocietystore.com also we have a lot of tech information that I release daily on our Instagram which is paint.society so make sure you uh, add me on there and you can even message me and I will get back to you help you out with your project what are we gonna do from here? Well, we're gonna pull this thing out, we're gonna unmask it, we're gonna get this thing all assembled and check it out. I can't wait. Thanks for joining me on this episode. And remember, don't overthink it, it's just paint. I'll see you guys on the next one.